Pennsylvania First Lego League Championships. And we are here with a team from Jamaica. It's the Lego Your Mind Makers, and it's sponsored by Seprod and the Muslim Foundation. Uh, as a mentor, we basically teach and assist the kids in, in learning robotics. We help them, we guide them to break down the challenges and help them to discover uh, the aspects about the project, the robot game, and core values. The most important part of my role is being a good leader and making sure what I do, I'm not doing anything wrong for anyone else to follow. My role is to put the programs and codes on the robot and make sure the robot is perfect for the competition. In the robot game, the teams have to design an autonomous robot that is going to leave the base and follow programs and a set of instructions to complete as many missions in two and a half minutes. Kingston, Jamaica. I currently live in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I uh, studied mechanical engineer at Robert Morris University with my uh, master's in engineering management. I was in this event in 2005 when I competed in the same first uh, Lego League competition. The big meaning of a competition like this is about teamwork. It's about giving children exposure to STEM careers, to science, technology, engineering, and mathematics for them to you know get excited by robots but really to be working hard on problem solving on their creativity on being able to present ideas uh, come up with solutions and really work together as a team and learn all about all those different interactions and what what is required to you know make something happen so i think the most important quality that we look for in terms of one of them being on the team would be their ability to work with others first of all because that's very important teamwork skills as well as to think quickly and adapt quickly because you, they face many problems every day and they need to know how to you know think on the spot come up with new ideas and think creatively the best part of working on a team is working together sharing ideas and helping each other out the best part of working on a team is teamwork and working together. The best part on a team is to work together and always do things as a team. <laughs> the hardest part to be on the team is that it's hard to cooperate with each other. Whenever you have an idea, some other people might have different ideas and they like to go with their ideas instead of yours. So it's hard to cooperate with each other. We are a team. We do the work to find solutions with guidance from our coaches and mentors. We know our coaches and mentors do not have all the answers. We learn together. We honor the spirit of friendly competition. What we discover is more, discover is more important than what we win. We share our experiences with others. We display gracious professionalism and competition in everything we do. We have fun. It was important to me to be a part of this team because I wanted to learn new things, make new friends, and travel. Yeah, I made friends from the different teams, from the hotel. Now I have six new friends. So to them, this kind of opens up their perspective in terms of the global society. So I think it just helps them to know their place and to show their, the potential that they have. This is something new that I've learned about myself, that I can program robot with just few, uh, just few bricks with different programs on them. What I learned about myself is I'm very good at robotics, coding, and programming, and all of the stuff that includes coding. For the it's the first time for them to really work on a team like this. It's the first time for them to be really building and programming a robot and, and working on a project where they had to identify a problem in their community and come up with a, a solution and present that to the judges. 
Um, the, the project this year looked at the problems within the human water cycle. And so teams had to identify a problem that came from the, the storage, the distribution, the transportation, and the disposal of water, and how humans interact in that whole cycle. And our team was looking at water pollution in their community. that I would give to these kids is to continue to learn and build from what they're currently obtaining right now, such as to help to strengthen their communication skills, their problem solving skills, um, and to uh, use this to, as a guiding tool for others in the future. Jamaica in uh, to visit the Entertainment Technology Center after competing in the LEGO First League. Here we have virtual reality, augmented reality, location-based uh, entertainment, uh, animation, you name it, we probably have our hands in it. So it's, it's crazy to believe, uh, but a lot of people don't know of all the different opportunities that you have in disciplines like this. So exposure to programs like LEGO First League and eventually college programs like the Entertainment Technology Center gives people a, bright, a, a broader sense of what is actually out there for work. Um, because it is a, a bustling industry. So recently I was in Jamaica for a workshop on game design uh, and it was really excellent to have the students come and see uh, the context of, of what this is and what it means um, and so I was so happy to have them here in Pittsburgh although the weather is slightly different. I would say this event will definitely be life-changing for most, if not all, of the uh, students on, on this uh, LEGO Your Mind team because, as I said, not only will it build them um, you know, as a person, but it will also help them to build others as well, help to share that experience, and hopefully others out there will look towards robotics to help them with different skills um, and hopefully, you know, um, they'll, it will help to, you know, greater their experiences in life. Um, at Halls of Learning, we normally take children who are from more fortunate backgrounds, whose parents can afford to send them on a trip like this. And so this year in particular, with the Separate on Muslim Foundation sponsoring the trip, we've been able to take eight students who could not afford a trip like this, whose parents could not afford to be here, but they're being afforded this experience for the first time at 10 and 11 years old. First time on a plane, first time seeing snow, and first time seeing a whole new world of opportunities and, and, and things that broaden their entire horizon for the rest of their lives. I'm a bro lucky. I wanted to be part of this so I can get my opportunity to go abroad because it's my first time and I can see different people from different countries. I want to be an actress, a model, a singer, a businesswoman, or a teacher. There are a lot of choices. <laughs> make a team, like if you make a team to study together, make a team to work on a school project, make a team to do anything because there's nothing that you can do without a team. My favorite thing in the world to do is to jump up and down in the bed. When I go back to Jamaica, I will tell my friends what a wonderful time I had, my experiences, tell them about my friend, and of course the food. Like cereal with chocolate chip pancake, um, chocolate milk with orange juice, and waffle. And the snow too. opportunity I thank to thank my mom 
for getting me my visa and my passport and I would also like to thank the rest of my family, even my baby cousin Ramona, for supporting me in this game. My family helped me a lot to push further and work harder to be on this team. And in the test that we had to take to come here, my mom was the one who encouraged me and told me that I could pass this test. And my mom was the one who went to the embassy with me so I could get my visa to come here as well. And my dad, well, he just basically encourages me to do the best I can be. <laughs> but my mom is there all the time for me, all the time. And I just love her that much. <laughs> the two very most important tips that my family members gave me was always to, to lead and always to be on my very best behavior. And this is why I am right here now. Hi, Mumi. Hi, Shani. Kemal.